<sighs> yeah, I had a thought about how Congress should be um, done, operated, and stuff. Each member of Congress, there's like 558 of them, I believe. Um, they should each be given, you know, we could do this within a year or we could make it and do it within two years. But they should each get to make one bill and go through all the bills and laws that already exist and make another <coughs> they should be able to go they should be able to get and make one bill their own bill <coughs> damn should be able to make their own bill right and word it however they want or whatever and that one bill should be voted yes or no just the way that the guy makes the bill now they should also be allowed to find one law that already exists. So they're, they're, they're trying to create a law and abolish a law. So they need to find one law that already exists and they can try to abolish that law. Now, if we give them each a full day to complete their that action, the... <clears throat> then it'll take them almost two years, right? It, it won't take them quite two years, but it'll take close to two years for them to get to doing them all. And then, of course, there's an election cycle again, so it, you know, refreshes itself every two years if they're going to do that. Or they have one year to do it, and um, that leaves two a day or a whole year, two Congress members a day, or a year, at regular eight hour sessions, like we work eight hours a day, they work eight hours a day, that would give them two hours to basically give their pitch for their law, and another two hours to give their pitch for why we should abolish a, a law. Or they could take three hours for their bill and one hour for the, the law that already exists. So they give their pitch and then people would vote. And if it that passes, it passes. If it fails, it fails. Now, That would be how laws and bills could be, you know, created and or eliminated. Now, Senate would do the same thing, except there's only 100 members of the Senate, so they could probably get one, they could probably do three laws themselves, and each member of the Senate would have three days a year, and they still have 65 days left. <laughs> You know, but with Congress, there's, since there's so many of them, there's 500 and there's almost 600 members. Anyway, it would be like 280 days at two Congress members, Congress member a day to do it. Anyway, that's a kind of how I think it should work. Uh, Which gives them plenty of time extra to have their holiday vacation. It also still gives them plenty of time to discuss other businesses or whatever that happens. It gives them plenty of time to, uh, you know, those extra days they got time to get together and co-write other bills or whatever. It gets them together to maybe if they got turned down, their bill got turned down, maybe 
but it, you know, was almost made it. They could, you know, give them time to repitch it with maybe taking a little bit off or adding a little bit, but no pork. No, no, definitely no porks added to these bills ever. Um, and, uh, you know, they still, they'd have time to negotiate and do things like that. Anyway, remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming. Keep on collecting. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Jesus loves you. Jesus God. Jesus Lord. Jesus King. Jesus is ruler everything. And this would make, this would make Congress efficient. Uh, and it, it would make them faster. It would make them more efficient. It would make them speedier. It would make them streamlined. And, and it would do a whole bunch of stuff to make Congress more effective and efficient at their job. And would also make it more where particular individual of Congress, even the brand new guys that just got voted or girls that just got elected, would make them feel like they had more of a uh, say in the government than just the other people. Plus, we need term limits, always, always, two and your three term limits. We also need a, uh, more voting like the we the people should get to decide who gets to be head of these agencies and departments and whatnot instead of all this stuff getting appointed. We need less appointed positions, more elected positions, and of course the uh, voting the way we've been voting uh, doesn't seem to be working. Um, with the winner take all system with the electoral college maybe we should give it based on districts but also with the idea that only some we have primaries we should probably abolish primaries um and just let everybody who wants to run run at the same time and uh having any positions that uh only have like one person running for them. We we should just abolish those positions if that's what it happens. Like no position of elected, no elected position should have under like five people running for it. There there should be like a minimum of five people running for it, and we should vote based on um choice ranked voting. Um. Instead of just you pick this one guy, instead you pick, you should pick, um, and of course, uh, voter ID and across the board everywhere. Uh, if you, you, you have to have your ID to, to do everything but vote. Why do you not need, you should need a voter ID to vote because, uh, well, a photo ID of you to vote because literally you have to use a photo ID of you to do just about everything else. If you're buying, um, uh, which I don't smoke and I don't drink, but if you were to buy alcohol or cigarettes, you would have to show your voter your your driver your uh, ID, right? So again, and if you cash checks, you have to show your ID, right? Okay, so. Pretty much, you have to have show your identification to do everything else. So, again, back to choice ranked voting. I'll probably do a video explaining choice ranked voting, but it works basically where you pick like a number from one to ten, with like ten being best. You could also put zero, which is a zero, you don't want them at all, and then how much do you want them? Do you want them a 10? Do you want them, you know, seven, you know, and then, you know, you want them, you don't want them that bad at all, like three, it's like, a, and then whoever gets the most number based off of, uh, uh, 
this is uh, not statistics, but um, you you add the numbers together and then you divide them by how many people voted, and if they don't have like six or up, they can't get it, and then you have a runoff election for that, or something like that. Anyway, that's uh, I don't think Congress should be running, but later.